Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Wednesday, August 2nd. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a sad note, and that is I heard this morning that our longtime person who has been on was on the board with us, with a lot of us, not all of us, but uh, three of us at least, uh, Charlie Erickson, passed away this morning. Former Flagler County Commissioner Charlie Erickson has died. Erickson died Monday in Orlando. He was a U.S. Army veteran and a two-term commissioner who served from 2012 to 2020. Commissioner Dave Sullivan informed other commissioners at Tuesday's meeting. Rosemary, his longtime close friend, called me and he passed away peacefully and uh, he was a good man, did a lot of good for the county and was on the, uh, as a commissioner for four years up until Andy, you are in his place. Commissioner Andy Dance was elected to Erickson's seat after he decided not to run in 2020. Erickson was 80 years old. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Flagler County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a stabbing. FCSO detectives are looking into a stabbing that happened Sunday afternoon in the B section of Palm Coast. Several juveniles engaged in a fight, resulting in two of them being stabbed with a small pocket knife. Both juvenile victims suffered non-life-threatening injuries and were transported to a local hospital for treatment. There is no danger to the general public at this time since it appears to be an isolated incident involving people that know each other. A video of the incident's been circulating on social media. The investigation is active and ongoing. If you have any additional information pertaining to the incident, you're asked to contact tips at flaglersheriff.com. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. In addition to investigating a weekend stabbing, Flagler County deputies had their hands full. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley. Over the weekend, deputies handled 858 calls for service and made 184 traffic stops along with making 16 arrests. A total of five people were arrested for DUI, including one driver that ran into Flagler Beach and Sheriff's Office patrol cars that had conducted a traffic stop along State Road 100. I want to remind our drivers that it is not only illegal but very dangerous to drive impaired and under the influence. Not only could you ruin someone's life, but you could ruin your own by spending the rest of your life in prison if you kill someone or seriously hurt them. Some of the highlighted arrests were a road rage incident where an individual who was aggravated in a road rage pulled a gun on another driver. That driver is now sitting in the green roof inn. Another individual damaged Christ the King Church and exposed himself doing other things and was arrested after he was called in also as a suspicious person at another business. He's now in the Sheriff Barry Hall inmate detention facility on a $66,000 bond. I commend our deputies for quickly recognizing this individual from an earlier case and arresting him. Now he has time to think about his actions and ask God for forgiveness and to help to turn his life around as he sits in jail. A Palm Coast man on a bike is struck and killed in Benel. It happened on State Road 100, just west of Commerce Parkway Monday night. The Florida Highway Patrol says the cyclist was crossing 100 from north to south when a 77-year-old woman behind the wheel of a gray Elantra heading west struck him. Troopers say the cyclist failed to yield to the driver who had the right of way and was fatally struck. The FHP says the cyclist wasn't wearing a helmet. This marked the second fatal crash on Flagler County roadways in just five days. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. Human trafficking has gone high-tech. Florida AG Ashley Moody said that since human traffickers are using social media to find victims, she called Meta's Mark Zuckerberg. You may have seen that I recently asked Mark Zuckerberg to come and testify here in Florida to our Council on Human Trafficking. We noted that more than any other company, Meta had the highest numbers of their platforms where Uh, They were involved in a human trafficking case when we surveyed law enforcement. Moody said that fighting human trafficking is an ever-evolving challenge and that other states are looking to Florida to help combat the problem. The Business Report is on WNZF on Saturday mornings at 10, and it's on the Flagler Radio app anytime you want to listen. Tomorrow, how you can help prevent human trafficking. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.